Hello and welcome to episode 18 of our Timberborn update for Modded Blaith with the Folktales faction here in cycle 33, day 23, on the tail end of a drought. Got about 1.5 days left. The last time we expanded a little bit further this way, I guess we could call this north facing direction. I don't, I don't know if it actually is or not, but we're going to call it north. We have our third district, which we are going to be running a poll on by the time this video goes live to everybody, so Beard Boosters watching this late at night before the regular premiere, you don't see the poll yet, but it will be live by the time that this episode is out. So make sure you go and vote on the community tab uh, from the name selection that I've assembled based on your comments. And we'll rename this district in Thursday's video. But we got this set up. Uh, we're going to start putting in some housing here. Dam this thing up. Make a nice little lake in this uh, specific spot right here. Do a couple more things and work our way toward this corner and then over here to the giant industrial area that I've been promising this entire time. We're gonna get there eventually. Might take a little bit of time, but we got a few things we gotta do first. Outside of that, we had some more trees start uh, producing, well, these are producing the maple syrup. We're in the process of doing so. These have been for a while. We're producing wood here, producing lots of wood here, and we started planting over in this area. And we also recently put in this little carnival area here for the Iron Islands District. And I've done a bunch of small optimizations here and there. We've got plenty more to do. So here's what's on tap for today. Like I said, we're going to be building in this area a little bit. And we're also going to do a few aesthetic improvements in the area we've already got uh, set up here. Going to do a little bit of stuff here in our carnival area, reroute some pathing. And then I really want to start stockpiling wood and uh, industrial resources for our eventual push to go over here and make our giant industrial district. And that's going to require a little bit of construction, a little bit of uh, moving some stuff around, and a few other improvements along the way. But we should be able to get to most of that to at least some degree in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. It is the end of this drought, and we definitely want to get going on getting this dammed up. So we're going to go into our levees, and we're going to just go ahead, count this out. What is this? Seven? This is six. That's seven. I'm just going to put in some dam pieces here. We'll put in four so the water can uh, pull up a little bit, but not too much. And we'll get these guys going on this project here, which I actually don't know if they're going to be able to access with a traditional uh, path because we've got a bunch of trees in the way. And these guys are supposed to be uh, supposed to be removing them. So we're going to, I guess, have to wind through here. It looks like we'll get all the way through, which is nice. And now our builders, these two guys here are going to get to work. They should have all of the resources in this district to build these because there's a, little, a whole bunch of trees that are marked for cutting that they can get to. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> I think these are... Oh, these are on a different level. That's right. Oh, but they can still get there. They can get there to some of these at least. So is there a spot I can stick a... Uh, no, there isn't. Well, that's inconvenient because there's most of our trees right here. Oh well, they'll survive. There's enough here to hopefully build all those. So they're going to get underway with that. And what I was thinking for this district is kind of insetting lodges into the hill terrace styles, which is going to require us to blow up a little bit of this and uh, kind of slightly manufacture the landscape a little bit. I think it's going to look nice. And I think it's got a lot of potential to be something pretty cool. So just to give you a rough illustration of uh, what we're going to be doing here, I know they can't reach this, so I'm not going to be worried about it. We have, like, say, a triple lodge right here. We can put underneath either more lodges or we can put some storage or something. And then on top of that, come in with a rooftop terrace. Obviously, there's not anything right here, so I can't really illustrate it to you. But the idea is to have uh, these houses, lodges that overlook the lake, and then in front of them have a terrace for each building and then everything they might need, food, water, etc., within a pretty short distance, plenty of Lido's, and some nice landscaping. So we'll get there. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish that today, but we're definitely going to start it. We're going to get this process of uh, retaining water here underway at the very, very least, and we'll see what happens with that. 
Now we might need to explode this out a little bit. Not entirely sure what the best uh, method for that's going to be. I don't think we're going to get that done by the time this uh, drought is over. Definitely not, and definitely not by the time this upcoming cycle after the drought's over. So that could just be a uh, a wish list item for the time being. But I will go ahead and put in a path for them to get over there. Make that a, as short as we can manage, at least for right now. So at the very least, they can start getting into that. I will prioritize these staircases just so that's ready to go. It, they're going to have no problem building this by the time this next uh, temperate season is over. But I figure what we do here is find our narrow spot and then start by doing a little bit of this. Inset like so. And I believe, I believe that's going to end up looking okay. We'll see what happens. And they are going to have to do this in segments, but eventually they'll get to all of it. We'll get to this first, though, which will be important. I don't think there's a scenario in which this overflows without being dammed here or exploded here. So we'll see what happens. But for right now, we can leave those guys doing what they want to do and move on to do some other stuff. And I did have a question in the comments about, hey, why don't we just reroute some of our pathing through this area so these guys have to have to walk past the most great gear? Now, I don't know about forcing them to go through here, but we can definitely, if I remember which which path this is, I think it's the Folktales path, we can definitely add an entrance on the, uh, on the corner of this side. So that's what we'll do. We'll just put that guy right there. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a shorter path, but if we delete this uh, little bit of path right here, we can kind of incorporate or force them to do that. And that will give them the bonuses from both of these little things, courtesy of Battery Smooth. So if we do that, then I think what we're going to want to do is put in some landscaping here. I don't know that we're going to be able to because of these lanterns, but we're going to try. See if we can get some hedges. Oh, cool. That's going to work. Nice. Yeah, I'll just put hedges right there on that side. Please don't crash. Thank you. Little simple rerouting. They can go see the frog statue if they wish. And if they don't wish, they can go around. And a devilish fun specifically asked, can we put the entrance to the frog statue as a frog path? I think in this specific instance, it does work. So uh, get rid of that street lantern right there so we can see his head. Yep, there you go. There, there's your frog path in front of the frog statue. Um, I think... Uh, where's the other one? Aha, uh -huh, right here. This actually might work as well. So let's... Yeah, nobody's on top of that. I don't know if that actually messes them up or not. But I, I think that's a funny little, uh, little Easter egg to stick there. So over here... Um... Yeah, I, I guess somehow we've managed to make all of the entrances more or less uh, compatible with this idea, which I think is hilarious. Uh, this one right here, maybe maybe not quite. But, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we, we can do silly little stuff like that. That's all right. Okay, so how are we looking over here? We started building. Yes, we have. All right, we got those staircases made. Uh, they're obviously not going to get to this for a little bit. But it's going to be nice to have these done. I'm actually starting to doubt that we're going to have enough. I <laughs> can't have enough ready here. So I'll tell you what. Let's uh, do a little bit of that. And then a little bit of this. Eventually we need to be able to get over here to put some uh, stairs or a ladder in. But they can, for the time being, still reach some of these guys. I'm just going to make it a little easier for them to get to it. And eventually for us to have a path. I'm probably going to put a ladder maybe right about here that should extend the range a considerable amount. And another thing brought up in the comments, how we have this area here that is ungrowable because of the way the path structure was set up. Well, we had a suggestion to why not put in ladders on the back side here. We'll just add those to this path. 
And that, in theory, once the ladder is complete, should allow us to plant at least a few of them here by shortening the path from the Forester. I don't know if it's going to get all of these spots here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. They'll have to take their time building that, of course. And then, as we continue to get rid of all of our iron over here, scrap metal, whatever you want to call it, we will continue planting more trees. It's just one of those things that takes some time. So let's go ahead and get into turbo mode. Here we are, what, 10 minutes? Almost 11 minutes into this episode, finally, finally hitting that turbo button. Yep, now begins the long trek of getting a bunch of resources for our eventual industrial enormous area over here. And one thing that some people pointed out is that our packing plants can't really keep up with the demand. But upon further investigation, it seems we're out of grilled potatoes in that one. And this one, the supply of some of these things is pretty inconsistent. So I think the better better question is how can we improve the efficiency of the packing plants we already have before we build more because we don't really need more right now the, the amount that we can make with this should be sufficient i'm not saying we're never going to add any more but for the time being i just i don't i don't think it's necessary they haven't really had to stop which is good we just need to make sure that we have enough haulers and we have enough uh stuff readily accessible in our little supply bunker down here, which we easily should. We've got bread, we've got cattail crackers, grilled potatoes, maple pastries, cattail flour, wheat flour, sunflower seeds, grilled spatter dock, grilled chestnuts, and carrots, all in plentiful supply, plus some raw stuff stored behind. So it really shouldn't be an issue. I think it's just an issue of not having enough hauling beavers for the demand of stuff we actually have to be hauling around. So if we look at our stuff here let's see just in beaverberg 11. yeah we have eight hauling posts and for the most part they're all fully staffed they actually are all fully staffed uh so it it should not be a matter of not having enough beavers it should just be one of those things why is there no fuel remaining why does it say fuel because it really shouldn't Oh, there's no power input. No, that's because they haven't made anything. Oh, well, I, I don't really know how that works. Seems kind of uh, kind of beyond my mental capabilities currently. But it, it is working. We have we have 2,000. They just need to be making a little more. All right, we got four of these done. Yeah, it's going to take them a while to build this. But yeah, as I suspected, this is not going to overflow. So it is going to require us uh, dynamiting out of this. And this district does not currently have any dynamite because we don't have any storage for it. There's no housing either, but they're going to have housing soon, so don't worry. We just got to get a little bit more going on here. So let's put in uh, maybe a little closer to this area. I'll put in a small warehouse, have that uh, grab some dynamite. And then I might actually, you know, sacrilege, I might actually uh, prioritize the dynamite here just to irrigate this area. So they're not going to have any problem building this. They have, they have the materials, they have the means to get more if they need more. It's just an issue of actually having water coming in. So I think... I think this should work. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. We'll mess with the contour a little bit. If that doesn't look quite right, we'll fix it. But I want it to just kind of come through here. And now I have to uh, I have to make those as well. But they shouldn't have any issues doing that. Let's get that warehouse built too. All right. Now let's take a look at our industrial supply. We have almost 5,000 wood. We really shouldn't have any issues uh, getting wood supplied at this point. We have so many trees that we're growing. We've got 1,400 planks. We've got 1,400 gears. Almost 4,000 metal. It's Metal storage is actually completely full. So all of this is looking good. And one thing we're going to really need to do is have dedicated storage a bit closer to this area, which currently is in this district. So it might seem kind of insane, but 
I want to start building giant storages in this district or possibly up here so we can have them ready to go much closer to this area when we actually do start building stuff. And then at that point, once that's all built, we will be getting rid of uh, this industrial stuff right here, probably putting in another uh, housing complex or entertainment complex or something for these beavers. And I don't know how many beavers I'm actually going to be able to have on the map. I, I wanted to try for a thousand, but I, I don't think I don't think that's going to work, <laughs> judging by the frame rates here. Although maybe if we have a lot of bots doing all the work, it won't be that bad, because I think part of the problem with the way this game handles frame rate is it has to calculate paths and jobs and stuff for every beaver. And uh, if they all start the day at the exact same time, that's a lot of calculations to do, and that can cause a lot of lag. But if the bots are always working anyway, then it kind of spreads it out a little bit. That's my theory, at least. Uh, if you are a Timberborn scholar, I would be very interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions on the matter. But I digress for right now. All we got to do is just get water through here, get this built, which it seems they're going to do anyway. Oh, because they don't have uh, they don't have explosives yet. But now, now we're coming up here. There we go. Making progress. It's, it's going to be a couple at a time because they're going to have to go do this from the inside out. Or I could just put some stairs here. But we don't need this to be stairs anyway, so why uh, why spend the time to do that if you don't have to? So we'll just detonate them as they go in, as we have the uh, desire and ability to do that. Water storage uh, capacity-wise, we should be perfectly fine. We could maybe build a little bit more, but I think I'd rather build that in these newer districts and kind of stockpile things instead of just having a ton of it here where we really don't need it. Uh, the Iron Islands district, on the other hand, really doesn't have very much storage for water at all. In fact, it just has this one medium tank and a couple of smaller ones. So it would really benefit from having some more water storage. And yes, this forester actually can plant here now. So that's what we'll do. We'll just get that all the way. I know it's, it's only another, what, 10 trees, 11 trees, but it matters. Every little bit counts. And this island over here, we actually could do some, uh, some more planting on if we wanted to as well. But I think we're probably okay for now on uh, how all this stuff is set up. Now, is there going to... Let me click in this. Come on. It's like eight times I tried to click it. It wouldn't do it. Uh, I'm going to put in a little tank right here for them to drink water out of because we are kind of far away. That's set to obtain. Let's give them a little warehouse too. Just for some of those beaver bentos. Let them take care of that. We did a similar thing over here. And they haven't really been able to obtain it. Because there's not really enough storage. And enough beavers working in this district. Although. Wow. there's We actually have a fully stepped district crossing. So I don't. I guess they just keep trying to import individual ingredient foods instead of all of the uh, packaged foods and we have tons of them so it really shouldn't be an issue i guess we just need to have a dedicated storage on this side for a lot of packaged foods so they'll keep importing more of them so now i guess i have to figure out where i'm going to put that because let's see uh the storage of gears why do i have so many gears over here we don't really need them um so i guess Actually, let's check and make sure that when, before I get rid of this, we actually have other storage for gears. I don't see any more storage for gears. But we definitely don't need 200 in this district. I can guarantee you of that. So, let's see. These are all piles, huh? Warehouse for paper. Uh, not going to need to store explosives here anymore. So, if we make this one into gears and this one into packaged food... Maybe, maybe we'll be able to uh, make this work. Now, they have to use the gears for this to go away, or we have to just force export the gears. But that could be, could be a decent, decent start. I don't know, we'll have to leave this alone for a little bit, maybe build something that has gears like an additional, uh, additional windmill, although this seems to be doing fine, honestly. I don't think that's going to become a problem. This only uses 20 gears anyway. So uh, maybe maybe I just have to do something dumb here. Uh, distribution. 
Iron Islands, importing... Where's my gears? Yep, let's import only if needed on those. So that should... If I mess with the export threshold, what's that going to do? I actually haven't played with this, and I probably should if I'm, you know, making videos on the game. I should probably understand how it works. But that's not always the case. Now, what... I see, I just... I don't, I don't even know what this export uh, threshold thing even does, if I'm going to be honest with you. I've never messed with it. I have this set to automatically import... Um, I'm just going to turn off the uh, automatic import for all of the food, except the bentos. Let's see if that uh, see if that helps at all. They should hopefully not have to do too much of that. Yeah, the uh, the, the 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 gears are it's, it's just killing me, man. I don't know how to get rid of them without just deleting them. It's like, what are they going to do here? Unless I have this set to always, always import gears. Is that going to empty this out at all? If I have Beaverberg always import gears? Let's watch. Let's see if anybody takes anything out of here. They might not, though, because I bet you the storage for gears in Beaverberg is actually full. Come on. Um, no, it's actually not full. So maybe, maybe they'll eventually start importing? I don't know. Well, at some point, they're going to have to take these out. At some point. Especially if I turn off gear production. Which we currently don't need at all. So yeah, if I have all of those completely turned off. I think I have all of them turned off then they're going to have to draw from those at some point. So we'll leave that alone for the time being. No more explosions to set off. These guys will do their thing. We might have to come back and get that little uh, little stub out of there. Uh, water pumping is going well. I just I need to find a space to put a large water tank and not have it look ridiculous in here. And it Ideally, should be right around here. I just don't really have a good spot for it. This right here is just not not really working out. So, oh, this is packaged food storage. So I feel like this should be um, this should be importing them anyway into this uh, little storage. And for the size of this district, two hundred storage should be plenty. So we'll see if they end up putting anything in here. Yeah, now nah, now there's gears going away. Love to see it. There we go. Now we got some going in here. So maybe that'll influence this district to stock a little bit more in the way of the packaged foods. We'll see. We will see what happens. Right now, stuff is looking good. We got plenty of logs, 5,000. I love these uh, these dams with the little decorative bits. It's a big improvement. Big improvement for sure. Now, how are we looking here? Are we, out of, are we really out of chestnuts? No, we're not out of grilled chestnuts again. They just don't have any in here. Why? It's like there's always something lacking here. The eternal mysteries of our time. All right, let's check in on these guys. Oh, good. Making good progress here. We've got another row of explosives to set off. We're getting pretty close, folks. Pretty soon we'll have this uh, channel opened up. And this will start becoming irrigated. I don't know if this is going to be able to get uh, get finished. But we are only six days into the temperate season. So we should have around another, around another six or seven before the drought comes. So now let's think about what we want to put here. I know we talked about the different uh, types of housing and stuff. So what if? What if we just kind of started blasting out the cliff face here? And had it set up in ways that would uh, allow us to stack the things like I was saying before. So I'm going to start putting in staircases here.
Mark all these for cutting, because why not? And once that's done, we'll start terraforming this. Uh, we'll make some uh, some little ledges here. And we'll see what has to happen for us to be able to make good use of this. Almost there. Almost there, folks. So once we fully emptied the gear storage in this district, which is probably going to take a while, uh, I will turn the uh, importing back on, except it's going to be a much smaller warehouse. I think they just have a... Okay, I can't see anything at all in this. Uh, there is there is that small one, theoretically, once the dynamite is also gone. But we can think of ways to uh, think of ways to use some dynamite over here. We could start cleaning this up a little bit, depending on how we're feeling about detonating this top level down. Maybe these top three levels down, but obviously the metal has to be cleared first. And that's going to take a pretty long time. How are we looking here? Got any more to blow up? We sure do. All right. We're almost there. You can see you can see the water is just barely, barely past that. So that should be the next uh, little bit of dynamite they put in. Should hopefully be one of those ones that we can just detonate immediately and let water start coming in here. You know, if I had higher frame rate, that would actually be a pretty cool tracking shot. But it looks like Swiss cheese, so that's fine. We have so much maple syrup. We have, we have 4,800 maple syrup stored. So that's good. We solved that problem probably forever. Um, Yeah, all, all the rest of this stuff, though, not quite there. Although the chestnut storage is technically full. We don't have uh, the grilled chestnuts, excuse me. The regular chestnuts are not quite there, but everything else is looking really, really nice for food supply. So I think we're pretty secure in that for now. We just need them to a little bit more efficiently move things around here because, yeah, there's no reason why this should ever be empty when we have so much right there. Now, we should have extra beavers. If we look here, yeah, I got 16, 16 extra beavers. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a double whammy, get rid of two of these builder's huts, and instead put in two hauling posts. Look, look at them. They're like, like buzzards. And have these both hire 10 beavers. I guess we'd lower the uh, workplace priority just in case for later. But that'll get 20 of those beavers employed, and we'll have, I think, eight unemployed after that. Which is fine, because we do have all these buildings that I turned off, because I didn't want to mess with gears. Speaking of, making progress down to 86 out of uh, 200. Making any progress over here. Oh, these are all full, because we don't have anywhere else to put the scrap metal. Now, is that because we don't have anywhere to put the regular metal? That's probably what's happening. So this is scrap metal, metal blocks. Let's go ahead and build... Um, Another one of these for metal blocks. And actually, I think we can go ahead and put in... Hold on. Let's be smart about this. Let's do an offset here for metal blocks and for scrap metal both. And then we can have a path going through this way in case we ever need to go and put more storage on this side, which... Honestly, for right now, would not be a bad idea. So let's, yeah, let's do that. We have, we have the technology. So we can uh, go ahead and do that. This one is scrap metal, metal blocks. We'll do the same kind of reversed pattern here because I'm trying to have this be a lot, a lot, a lot of storage. Say that like 800 times. And that'll use gears too. <laughs> Look at us go. Look at us go. We're smart. Kind of. Um... I digress. Let's put in some lanterns here. I like these paper lanterns. Let's see if I can get those to... Uh... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that just look fantastic? Lining either side of the path there. That is something else. So we'll put that here and here. Nicely lit up storage area. 
Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that here, but I can put it on the other side of this guy. And actually, we already have six of these. We can put in a seventh if we blast these three out. And that's not a bad idea. So that'll give them something to do. Expand our uh, metal capacity at the very least. And we'll actually end up rounding this area out quite nicely. By rounding, I mean squaring. But you know what I mean. You, you guys understand. All right. We, we are not quite done here. But we should be. Yes, look at this. Should be good to bring in some water here. So let's uh, let it flow in. Look at that. Look at all that water. That's going to be nice. We might even be able to blast this out a little bit deeper to make a, uh, a larger reservoir. But that is going to be really nice. Should green up this area quite a bit. And I like the idea of having more water storage over here. I might actually... Uh, start at some point blowing this whole thing up one more level just to have that uh that reservoir always but now they can focus on getting these levees built i just need this one more thing here i think i think this looks okay for an inlet but uh, i am going to get rid of that just because that's uh looks looks a little weird just a little funky and i'll get those three that should uh should look pretty nice Maybe not the most natural thing, but it uh, it does work. All right, so that's going to be a very nice addition there. We'll let them finish that. Come back a little bit later. Let's check on our metal storage facility here. Yeah, there goes all those metal blocks. We already got planks and gears in place for there. And they'll be working their way over here. Packaged food coming in. Uh, the gear storage, probably should have built these before I started exporting the gears. I know that's going to irritate some of you guys, but once we have the explosives start to come out, then we'll have the gears to uh, do all this stuff. So actually, let's uh, check our distribution again. I'm not always importing dynamite, so that's good. I need to go to this side now. Dynamite, uh, I'm going to blow that stuff up and then we might import always uh, for the dynamite just to try and get it out of here. But yeah, these guys definitely, definitely need to have something else to do over here. So we'll uh, we'll let them fill this stuff up, get back to work, breaking all these things down because these should be going pretty much at all times. Prioritize that thing by the haulers so the uh, other beavers don't have to worry about it. And there we go. All right, any, uh, any further progress made over here? We got that one thing there. Yeah, we should be seeing the drought warning in just a few days, so uh, I do want to try and let them finish this first. So let's, let's prioritize here. These five remaining blocks, let them do that. And then should be good to go. Still have water, still have food. Nobody's dying, they just don't have very, very good quality of life right now. But we'll get it fixed will not be a big deal. Okay, so they've gotten... Yeah, now the, the trees are starting to repopulate, so let's uh, let's fix that real quick. I think the closest I can get is just by putting that guy right there for now. But once that gets built, after, of course, they finish this, uh, these guys should be able to get access to a lot more of these trees which might actually be what's holding them up. We check our, uh... yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, we got we got to build this first. Got to build it first. Because we're otherwise not going to have access to enough stuff. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to get the logs here in a second. There they go. But nobody's going to finish it until tomorrow because it is, you know, 16 hours working day and they do have to sleep. I do want to lower this at some point. We just don't have bots yet. So that's kind of like shooting yourself in the foot. Which, of course, we don't want to do. There's that drought warning. Told you. The rest of the stuff's looking fine, though. Are we emptying our storage here? Kind of. So these guys should be uh, should be able to clear this out pretty quickly now that it, they're not log jammed with all of their materials here. So that's looking good. 
We just have now the dam pieces. And that's what's going to take the longest to build because they have to get 20 logs for each. So they have to find 80. Uh, we don't have a uh, teeth grindstone. So let's put one of those in. I guess we'll just stick that right there. Top priority because our, our woodcutters can't cut wood. So that's going to be that's going to be a whole thing. Although we are making progress just slowly. I think they can get it done before uh, 2.6 days is up. We will see what happens. How's our food stuff looking? Yeah, there's always one. There's always one of these that they don't have everything for. I don't know if that's just a function of how all this stuff works, but that's fine. So since we are in kind of one of those in-between moments while we're waiting for beavers to get some stuff done, let's take a look and see who is doing what here. I did get rid of all of the uh, default beaver names. So now these are all beard boosters or Easter eggs that I've hidden. So you should see if you're a bead, a bead booster, a beard booster, you should see your name. You should see a couple of uh, Easter eggs as well. If you pay close attention, I'm not going to call them out though. Um, so let's see. I know we had... We had an Elzen ask uh, where their beaver was, but not been born yet. And Jitendria Kumbar also asked, uh, I don't see... Oh, there you are. Right here. Working at the explosives factory. Uh-oh. All right, well, stay safe. Work, work in the, uh, <laughs> the dynamite factory. Yeah, but your beaver's here. I know you were asking where uh, that was. And I think everybody else has at least one clone for the most part. There are a few... Uh, default beavers that have not died off yet. So we'll keep an eye on those. And you can also, just a uh, a tip, you can watch the corner of the screen. I, I mean, I can't go and read all of these out because there's all, like 350 of them. That would take me the whole episode. But you can watch the corner of the screen to see if you have uh, been born or died and catch some of those Easter egg names I've put in. Got 1.8 days left. We got three of these dams to go. Uh, they're hard at work. I think we'll make that no problem. Yeah, look at all the extra trees they can cut now that we have this ladder in place. And I'm going to keep moving the ladders into uh, more and more convenient spots here. As soon as that's built, then we can get rid of that guy. Obviously, I'm not going to prioritize this one because they have uh, these dams to build. But eventually, eventually they should be able to get access to all this, and I will build another one uh, when we get to that point. That is looking good. This is going to be so cool when it's done. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to get there. Now, how are we looking over here? Good. We just have these two left. And that's waiting on gears. This is waiting on, well, everything. We're going to have so much metal storage. It's not even funny. We're going to have a total of... Uh, it should be almost, almost 8,500 metal storage by the time uh, this is done. Scrap metal storage might be a little higher than that, actually. Oh, it's actually a little lower. Okay, well, that's fine. But we're going to be prepared. We, we are going to be prepared for metal storage over here. This is the Iron Islands, after all. It probably would not hurt to have a little bit more in the way of log storage here also. And that's not something we've really done in this part of the map. So, I mean, we, we do have this right here. But currently, that's the only uh, only log storage. And it is full. So why don't we... Uh, how far away? 74%, 75%. I'm going to unplant these three. And we're going to detonate this down and put another uh, log storage there. And then I think we can have our side platforms go on top of this. And we can have some other storage for things like these piles. Probably would be a, uh, a good way to store with those. But we just got to let them do their uh, do their thing with this. And that's going to increase our storage. This will be also much closer to our industrial area. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to spread things out. So not everything is stored right here in this one spot or right here. So by the time this episode's over, we will have... Uh, Pretty significant amount of industrial storage there. Now, they have less than half a day of uh, actual work time to finish this dam and this dam. Um, mm, might not uh, might not be the best. 
thing. So we're gonna we're gonna actually we're gonna actually double our employment here in the district center and uh, get four of these guys working on this for the last little bit of the workday. We might have to extend it. Don't tell them yet. Let them know at the end of the day that their workday has been extended. Otherwise, they're going to be angry. But uh, <laughs> pro tip, do not do that to people in real life. Always communicate your, your workplace needs. It's, it's much better for everybody. But this is a game, so we can do what we want. I believe with the four of them working, they should be able to get this done. Especially if somebody starts and finishes. Yeah, look at that. All right, so now we're going to supply here. And just before this ticks over, I'm going to go to that 24-hour workday. Um, just because we cannot afford to not have water in here for an entire drought. But uh, they're not going to have any problem getting this done, with four of them at least. They'll just work and work and work and work. They're already halfway there. Because the water will continue for at least a little bit to uh, drain through here. We definitely want to have enough of that stored up. It is about halfway up, but having it completely done would be obviously ideal. They just have to go a little bit far. All right, there we go. Now then go to bed. Go back to 16 hours like so we don't forget. <laughs> like the Water Beaver playthrough where I actually did forget. That's rough. But now this should fill up about as much as it can reasonably do uh, with the damn pieces, which I believe is a, a little above halfway. Maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.7. All right, eight-day drought. This is filled... More or less, I might come back and replace these with floodgates. But for right now, this will work just fine. So this will drain here into the, our little pool. And that looks A-OK. -okay. We've got plenty of water stored up. Looking fine. Everything is looking good. So we've got, uh, by my count, we got about 15 minutes left. So we're going to try, uh, try and do what we can. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that we're going to get these oak trees finished, though. 80% on a 30-day on a 30-day thing means, I believe, we got at least four or five days left. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll keep it on turbo mode, and we'll, uh, we'll adjust accordingly. But now we have a giant metal storage area, and this is detonated. So let's go ahead and put in one more smelter. Got Rick working here. Oh, now we're out of juice. Now we're out of juice. All right, well, you know what that means. It means it's time once again to put in some additional windmills. So I guess uh, I guess I should leave space here to build some more of these guys. So we'll just do uh, we'll just do one of these. Get them to build this stuff. Theoretically gives us an extra 800 uh, generation if they're being used all the way, which uh, I guess they're not. These are empty. I kind of wanted, kind of wanted to just uh, take all this out and put five by five the big boys in here, but I don't have that kind of room, unfortunately. I, I mean, I could fit them, but I'd have to rip up the paths, and then I, it wouldn't look as good. So. Theoretically, we're fine. We just got to make sure that we're generating more power, which is, again, why I'm going to be building those. But we can leave that alone for a little bit. This looks so nice with the lanterns just uh, right above the surface of the water. I love that. That is a very, very, very nice look. All right, I'm going to extend our path here all the way out in case we want to go that way and this way. And now we've got a little bit of room here to start planting some more trees. So let's do that. Um, actually, these guys, these two spots right here, I think I can turn into two more lumberjack flags before we plant any more oaks. And I'll leave some excess space for all of that metal there. Um, you know what? No, this needs to be, this needs to be a tooth grindstone. Put that in there. And, uh, this is probably going to get all blown up anyway. I believe um, I'm going to go ahead. going to go ahead and put a storage here, then a storage here, and then on the other side of this guy, 
I will put a, uh, another lumberjack flag and we'll just have our regular path come out this way. You already know what we're going to set here. I'm going to move, uh, instead of those being up here, I'm going to move them down here. Because when we start detonating this, we might end up just completely flattening all of this. And I don't want to have a crucial mealtime infrastructure in the way of all that. But that also gives us space right here to plant some more trees, which we will gladly do. I don't know that the beavers have to have space that trees aren't in to harvest these, but I will leave them a little bit of a buffer and give this guy something else to do. Speaking of, uh, how close are we now? 84%. All right, I think we're going to make it just fine. Uh, probably would be smart if we can manage it to end this video at the end of this drought here in cycle 34. So we'll see what happens. How are we looking over here? Still good. We still have plenty of explosives. And now that they're done with all their major uh, stressful construction projects, well, one, we can blow these things up a little bit. I think we're going to need to extend our path just a touch to get at that guy. Yep, there we go. Now we can start terraforming this thing. I know this is a uh, one of those things you guys have been awaiting all episode for me to get to. So let's take a second and think about how this is going to interact with the water here. Uh, all of our lodges are two blocks deep, or I guess two blocks thick uh, this way. So regardless of capacity, we need to have an inset of two blocks. I know we talked about blocks. This isn't Minecraft. Um, we talked about putting one of these guys here uh, I, we could also sink them into the ground a little bit and just have the rooftop terraces. Well, actually, those can't be level on the ground. They have to be on top of something. So don't quote me on that. Do, do as I say, not as I do. But the, the point I'm trying to get at is we need to have a space that is five blocks deep on each level, I believe, to uh, be able to take advantage of stuff. So what that would mean... Or this area right here, we already have one, two, three, four. We have five if we go here, but I, I don't think I'm going to go with that. Um, what we can do, if we want to be want to be snazzy about it, actually, uh, we can have this blown up right here. We can do um, I'll do six wide. We can blow that up, sink some storage down that way, facing a uh, platform here. That we will now. But in actually for good measure, let's just uh, let me click, please. Screenshot mod, thank you. Um, we'll blow this up, and then we'll replace all of this with some platforms. And then off of this, we'll put in some Litos. Where's my Litos? There we go. Except this isn't going to match perfectly, so I'm either going to put one in the middle here, or we'll actually extend this out. But we'll put in two uh, medium storages here, and on top of those, we can build our rooftop terraces. Those will fit perfectly on top of that. And then back into here, we're going to have to have a path. And then all of this is going to need to be blown up as well. And we'll kind of bury these in the hillside. We'll, we're going to have like a, a cascade type of thing. I, I, hope I, can, I hope I can illustrate this right, because the idea that I've got, I think, is really cool. So you guys can be the judge on how cool it actually is. But I think I think we're gonna gonna be able to make something pretty pretty interesting, pretty neat out of this. So let's detonate that. Uh, build ourselves another platform here, and then of course we're gonna have to have a, uh, a staircase going in to uh, this area here. I think I don't have to blow anything else up for right now. I believe I can just put in a regular staircase. Uh, I will make it metal stairs just so everybody gets that bonus. And I, th I think if I do this right, I can put another one here. Let's see how that, see how that's going to look. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to take us a little bit of time, a little bit of time to get this done. But I'm hoping, hoping we can get it done before this drought is finished, so we can have at least something here to enjoy looking at. So to that end, let's go ahead and put in a uh, builder's hut. We'll just uh, build one of these here right quick, prioritize that, and I'm going to bring some more beavers in to this district. We have the food, we have the water. So let's uh, minimum change to 12, and we'll employ all those guys here at the builder's hut once that's done. 
should have the planks, and we do. All right, looking good. So now these guys can go ahead and get right to work. Got Gary and John over here working in the builder's hut, waiting on some more beavers to come in. Um, vacancies, I guess. I guess I didn't have enough beavers with 12. Let's go to uh, let's go to 14. There we go. He Man Shu and John Snow working here in the builder's hut. This is ready to go. You're gonna have to watch this guy. He doesn't know anything. Um, we've got this platform not quite done. That's probably gonna be one of the last ones. Whole lot of berths here. Make sure you're uh, checking that for your beaver if you are in fact a booster. How are we looking over here? Making good progress. Um, these trees are should be just about done. All right. So we might might have a couple days. This is probably going to be pretty much right up to the wire getting these uh getting these oak trees out of here. But we'll get there. We'll make it. I am going to go ahead and start putting in our side platforms over the top of this guy real quick. So we can start putting more piles on top of that. A large pile up here. I guess we could just make this for regular planks. We will uh, we'll need to have some of those stored over here as well. That'll give these guys something to do for the time being. Now we're talking. Look at this. Look at this. We gotta we gotta blow all this up. That'll get us somewhere. That's too far for uh, builders, really. What about now? There we go. Yeah, take that thing down. Yeah, this is this is gonna look cool when this is done. Now the only problem is going to be how do I want to organize our Lido's? I guess easiest solution is just gonna be to do uh, one of these things. And then, uh, oh no, that's not going to work because I can't flip these. Oh no, that's a disaster. So I'm <laughs> going to have to have this one sat here. I can't put it there because there's going to be a uh, staircase in the way. Unless I just you know get rid of the staircase. So let's do that. And we'll put, a, we'll put two of these guys right here. Some nice uh, beachfront swimming pool property here. Detonate. And put one more. Come on, let me click. Let me click. All right, that is going to look fine. I uh, should be able to put housing in here. Now, I could just do this, but that's not really going to fit what I've been trying to do. So we are going to lower this down one more level. I think we can make it happen. And then we'll sink those. So that means we'll have space on top of the triple lodges to do something else for the next terrace if we uh, decide to do that. But for right now, this should end up being just fine. Now, who's starving? I know it's not these guys. Okay, they're just they're just lazy. They're not starving. There's plenty of food. You just have to go get it. Yeah, we have almost... Yeah, we do have 6,000 of these packaged foods. We are A-OK -okay on those. A-OK, -okay, no problems. I think in the interest of uh, getting this finished, let's just prioritize all the dynamite, make sure we can actually do this. And uh, what kind of path? The iron teeth wood is blue. I don't I don't know that I really like that. Oh no, that was a tragic mistake. Uh, del <laughs> deleting that. Let's uh, get that fixed up. Uh, but pathwise, I really like the look of the bricks, but it's it's more like an industrial thing or like a city center thing. If we want it to be uh, upscale, to me that says some sort of a uh, some sort of a fancy wood. So between these two, oh, I kind of like the uh, the iron teeth plastered wood. Let's let's go with that. Unless you guys have uh, any better ideas, so we'll go with that. And one more, blast that down. Then we'll build our lodges, and uh, I think by that time the drought will be be over and done with. So let's check on our trees again. Over here, we should be... Uh, yeah, we're very close. So sometime tomorrow, in-game, these should mature. It could end up being on the last day of the drought based on how the uh, clock timing works. 
but uh, we'll have to remember to come back and check that. And then put another log storage and uh, continue building the rest of this out. We're going to have a fun time doing all of that. And this here is looking good. We just have to connect our last windmill together. And hey, look at all that Look at all that power they're making. So they should have a pretty good amount stored down here. Or at the very least, they're charging it. So we'll have to... Uh, well, now they're discharging it because the windmills aren't turning. But hopefully the water wheels will be able to do some, uh, some more stuff. We might end up... Ooh, you know what? You know what? We could easily, based on the height of this right here, we could easily take the carousel out and put in a large flywheel underneath it, one of those junction boxes. That's the next time problem to solve with the time we don't have left. But uh, we could easily put that underneath with a junction box, and that would store a lot, a lot of power. This guy's just so cool. I love looking at this. And he's only, he's not even half full and he's already spinning that fast. I've been told that it's like blinding at one time speed when this thing really gets going. For the time being, this is uh, pretty much all we have to work with until we can harness some power coming out of this. So how are we looking here? Still not, uh, still not quite done. Just have to have, uh, oh, there's no metal block storage. All right, well, let's, uh, let's fix that has to go in a pile. No real reason why I would have to uh, put this up here, but I, I guess we'll just uh, guess we'll just leave it at that. We've got 1.5 days left. Come on, let's get this let's get this done before the drought's over. I'm gonna be a liar. I don't like being a liar. Don't make me be the bad guy here. How are these trees? Okay, this one's grown up. This one's cut down. All right, let's uh, populate that with some explosives. Cut down this tree. You, you there. Vuanin, you are not a beard booster, I don't think. Uh, cut this tree down. Or somebody. Anybody. Anybody cut this tree down. We got stuff to do. Stuff to do. Don't make me, uh... Don't make me go delete... Delete logs here. Oh, these are all... Full. Oh, what a disaster. We got we got to use more wood. Let's go. Let's go. Start doing something with this. <laughs> I, I, got, I got stuff I got to build. I can't be waiting on you to get rid of your trees. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of these, get rid of these, get rid of these, and build them back. Is that cheaty? Maybe just a little bit. But it will clear space for 60 logs, which is hopefully... Yeah, we'll do this guy too. Hopefully going to let us uh, start cutting some of these trees down. There you go. There you go. That's a team player right there. All right, now just harvest those logs. Get them out of here so I can, uh, so I can put some bombs down. You know you want to. Come on, I got, I got 0.7 days left. Don't make me a liar. All right, let's do that. Uh, we're already we're already going to have to be doing this through the next uh, little bit. Oh, what do you mean it's too far from builders? Oh, you dick dogs. All right. If that's the whole reason this hasn't worked this whole time, that's, that's pretty annoying. But now these are connected, so that's looking good. Come on in here, put these things in. Oh, yeah, here, here we go. Here we go. Coming, coming in hot with the explosives. Bring it on. Yeah, let's let's get going here. Medium warehouse one. Soon we'll have a second one. And we'll go ahead and put our rooftop terrace on top of that guy. That guy is gonna hold uh packaged foods. And this one next to it, uh, I'm not entirely sure what uh what should go in here. I imagine we'll figure that out. Right now though, I will put it um you know, maybe it does just need to be food, honestly. Works. Blow all that up. A couple of triple lodges. And that's going to be looking pretty cozy. Pretty cozy. I think we can just leave this alone like this. And uh, let them build all this. And then, uh, then we'll be done for today. 
just about. Can they even reach any of... <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, I guess it's time to relocate these things. Uh, so let's put uh, right here two of these. We'll put in another, uh, another ladder. I don't know why I'll call it a staircase. Right, get that uh, get that built, and then they can get the rest of these logs. Should not be any problem accessing these. Okay, and that says... Oh, there's no hauling post in the district. Okay, all right. I guess we'll build a hauling post. It's going to get relocated. That's not the perfect spot for it, but uh, at the very least, they'll have access to that. And the rest of this stuff should come in due time. All right, so it is day one. I know we said we we're going to be done on day one, but let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just finish this out so I uh, am not a liar. Prioritize this. I can't build anything on the side here until that's finished, but this is already filling up nicely. That's been full for a long time. But let's, I guess we could speed this back up. Get these explosives put in place and we'll be able to move right along. Once everything is uh, all taken care of. All right, here they come with the bombs. One more. Where is he? There you are. All right. Detonate. And uh, underground pile right here for some more logs. And then on top, we'll put the side platforms three by one. There you go. And on top of that, another large pile for you guessed it planks. And that's going to be it for that. This area is still looking good. Well, mostly. 6.2k on the beaver bento, so that's looking fantastic. Uh, I wish they were good. Oh yeah, they're all going to swim for sure. Uh, just need the logs. Just need the logs. So are we always importing logs? Uh, yes, we definitely need some more of those. I don't have log storage, do I? No, I do. Okay. That's fine. Uh... <laughs> All right. They can... Uh... Aha! Aha! All right. Well, let's uh, have some of you guys, he Manchu and John Snow, come over here and get these, uh, get these trees out of here and finish this up. So while they are taking care of this construction, I guess we can go ahead and start get you guys out of here today. So got a lot of good stuff done. Got this uh, district almost ready for habitation by the time uh, we finished with our little outro here they will have somewhere to live and everything is looking pretty good uh, the other district over in the iron islands we added some more capacity for metal storage and wood storage and all that other fun stuff so that's looking good now uh, we added a couple of a uh, couple of frog paths a couple of other uh, pathing changes hopefully make the beavers a little bit happier and I think this is going to be really cool, this area right here that we're currently working on, once that is uh, ready to go. It should be nice, everything inset into the cliff like that. A couple different tiers of housing and lounges and everything. So we can definitely look forward to that, continuing to build this out on Thursday's video. And making our way slowly up toward that big cliff. I think that's going to be a next week project where we truly dive into that. So Thursday's video is probably going to be uh, final preparations building pathing out there and then uh next week the fun begins so don't forget we also have the water beavers playthrough that we are doing it has been a whole lot of fun so far third episode of that's going to be out tomorrow so make sure you catch that and then also uh, of course this again on thursday uh this weekend going to be out of town for business a little bit so no live stream on saturday unsure about sunday but on Saturday, I'm thinking of doing another Timberborn video. So let me know, do you want another episode of this playthrough with the Folktales? Or do you want another episode of the Water Beavers? Feel free to leave a comment below. I always, always read all the comments, even though I can't respond to everyone. Do appreciate you taking the time to watch and leave comments and interact. It does really help support the video and uh, get it out there to more people. Plus, it's fun to get to talk to you guys. So... As always, look forward to your feedback there. Don't forget to vote in the poll. It's up on the channel now if you are watching this on the regular release. If you're a Beard Booster watching this at 2 in the morning, sorry, the poll's not up yet. Check back again at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, GMT minus 4, and it should be there. But yep, appreciate you. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks again for being here.
Beard Boosters. I've said it already, but thanks for being you. Thanks for helping me out and uh, all the other fun support, inside jokes and everything. It, re it really, really, truly is a pleasure to have you uh, as a part of all of our fun here. And your support really, really does mean a lot to me. It makes sure that I'm able to continue doing this instead of having to go find, quote unquote, another real job. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And I hope that everybody watching this, Beard Booster or not, has a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.